Hey guys, this is Ryan here from the Geeks Room, and this is a video for Megabyte TV. And in this video, I'll be talking about Windows Vista and how you could make some changes in order to speed it up. So, the first thing on Windows Vista is the sidebar. You want to get rid of the sidebar. If you are on one gig of RAM, sidebar is the first thing you want to get rid of because even on one gig of RAM, although Microsoft say they recommend it. Vista is still pretty slow and it uses a lot of system resources. So the sidebar also sucks a lot of system resources down with Vista. So in order to get rid of it, you're going to go down to the notification area here. Right click on the, the sidebar icon and go to properties and uncheck start sidebar when window starts. And then apply and hit OK. From there you want to hit it, right click and hit exit. This makes sure that, that sidebar does not start up with your windows. So that's one thing down. Another thing you can help free up your um, arrow or your the look and feel of Vista by changing the appearance of Windows. So in order to change the appearance, you want to right click, go to Personalize, go to Windows Color Appearance, and you can change the colors of arrow here. But the key thing we we want to um, changes the transparency. We want to disable the transparency and then we want to select a color because to me the default looks too white so I'll just go with a graphite and that looks pretty good with the transparency off or if you want you can choose your own color here and make it more intense so it looks better but I like the default with the transparency on so you can go ahead and try that out disabling the transparency Another thing you might want to switch your skin from Arrow to Vista Basic or Windows Classic. And in order to do this, you want to open Classic Appearance Options, and then from here you can select Vista Basic or Windows Classic. I, for me, I love my Arrow, and I'm just gonna stick with Arrow because I bought this computer so I can run Windows fine and I can run Windows 7 even better so playing with Arrow you can really change well not really change but you can help free up some of the things that you don't need such as the transparency another thing to help free up Arrow is by going to start right click on computer going to properties and where it says advanced system settings you want to click on that and hit continue from here you want to go to where it says performance and hit settings again and then you want to hit custom and then basically deselect anything here that you don't need by default it's on let windows choose what's best for my computer and then everything's checked on which is kind of stupid but you want to hit custom and then start disabling things here that you don't need this really makes a, an, an impact on how error performs on your computer so you can disable the animations, disable the fades and the previews and shadows and stuff like that. But it runs perfectly fine on my computer so I'm not going to go ahead and disable anything. But that's another thing you can do. One more thing you can do, I th where is it? You can go to performance options again and go to advanced. And where it says virtual memory, you want to hit change. And then it's by default going to see automatically manage paging file size of all the drives. I'm going to uncheck that and hit custom size. And from here, what this means is you're going to um, basically partition, make a small partition of your hard drive. It's not going to be um, no noticed by my computer, but basically it's going to take a piece of your hard drive and use it as RAM. So in order to do this, you want to know how much RAM you have in your system. And I have 8 gigs, so I think that's like 8,000 megabytes. And then maximum, you basically you want to double it. So you would put, if in my case, I'll put 16,000 megs. And then I'll hit set. But I'm running pretty fine on 8 gigs, and Windows has done a good job managing it, so I'm just going to leave it. If you're on 1 gig, you would put 1,024, and then you double it to 248, 2048, and hit set. As and you're gonna see a slight change really any but it's gonna really gonna help your computer so that's another thing and 
you can also see what's going wrong with your system by going to the experience index and if you see that um, desktop performance for error is below a 3.0 then you I recommend turn off error completely because you're just kinda killing your machine out completely like so badly it's not even funny if it's below 3.0 don't run error memory RAM it should be at least 3.0 and above if it's below that go down to XP but as you see here everything's maxed out at 5.9 except for like gaming graphics but it's still at 5.0 Four, so that's pretty good even if another thing you might want to do is disable some services and startup programs so in order to do this you want to go to start type msconfig and hit enter and hit allow it through UAC and where it says boot and go to advanced options and if you have a core to duo or quad core you want to come to this and then you want to select by default this is checked off but you want to hit number of processors you want to select how many processors you have if you have one processor it will, won't ma really make a difference this is for two processors and above so if like I have a quad core I put four processors and startup so when Windows starts up it's going to use all four processors instead of just one or cores for all four cores and it's really going to help Windows load a little bit faster on boot up then you want to disable services now if you don't know what you're doing here you don't want to turn off the wrong thing so you want to hide all Microsoft services from here you disable any programs that you've installed any services from that so like Nero or gaming console from Wild Tangit anything that you don't need here turn it off it really makes a difference um, on how much memory you're using Next, you want to go over to startup, and this is the key uh, of system configuration. From here, disable anything you don't ever, ever, ever use. So, like Nero again, Groove Monitor for Microsoft Office, Cyberlink, Adobe CS4, anything that you do not need on your startup that you can launch yourself, disable it. And anything from Microsoft or your computer manufacturer, you want to keep it on unless you do, you know what it is and you don't need it you can go ahead and turn it off from in here so this is another way to speed up Windows Vista you can exit without restart and if you see that Vista still isn't improving maybe it's not Vista maybe it's your computer you might need to upgrade or go back down to XP or do something but if it's if none of these tips are either make like helping to make a difference in your system then that's what I recommend upgrade or downgrade 